Right, okay, that's fixed a little glitch that I was having. Nothing too important. Um, let's stand up. Oh my god. Right, so... We are here. Um, let's... No, no courses plotted. Okay. Uh, first thing I want to do is that carry on back. That can now be recycled. Uh, we can uh, actually we can do the boots as well because we now have grade threes and we have some gloves. Delivering cargo. Thank you. Right, uh, fabricate one of those and oh, you're gonna love power gloves. They provide a major boost to arm and grip strength. If you're scaling a cliff with a rope, you'll be able to make your way to the top a lot faster. You'll also notice a difference when lifting heavy cargo. And that's not all. Ever take a tumble down a steep slope? You probably tried to slow your descent with your hands, right? Well, if you've got these on, you'll be able to stop yourself that much more quickly. Just promise me you won't try punching someone, okay? That's not what they're for. Okay, so punch someone. Can do. Uh, attach to book. Carry on back. Put on gloves. Confirm you. Uh, take on orders. Order for me. Over there. Weird. I did not see that coming. Deliver to the photographer. Uh, not gonna need any of that. Uh, let's carry on back. Yep. Yeah. And I want to take some of my junk with me. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, private locker. Um. Oh, well, actually, this is his stuff. That's all. Oh, that's his stuff as well. Uh, back. Confirm you. Now. Cargo. Auto range. Right, so. Where have we got to go? We've got to go that way. Okay. I'm with you so far. Oh, hello, grubs. Uh, so we came in from that direction. Ba, 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 ba. Seems happier with himself today. Ooh. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We... Yep, we have got to go that way. Plant it. Seriously? Yeah, Kojima must have really liked Back to the Future 2. Right, let's go round this way. Nope, how about this way? Yep, that kind of works. Make our way along here. Probably one of my worst ideas ever, but... Oh god, that's, that's the wrong button. I did not mean to do that. I was trying to climb, not jump on the portable tray. Okay. Let's climb up. It's okay. It's just my head. It's nothing important. Okay, so what do you like? That way? Yeah, it is that way. Of course. It's my luck. Oh yes, we like new technology. Uh gotta go up there, huh? Okay. Stopped. Get it together. Ooh, grip for balance. So, new blood bag equipped. That way, or that way? I think this way. Okay, let's try using the brake this time. Oh, we have got across that thing, have we? We have. Oh, it's not too bad. You only got a yellow bit here. Oh, and they're gonna give me BTs. Yeah. Go up here. Ah, uh, yes, this is good. Uh, there's a bike, which is interesting. How close are we? We're going off course. Of course, we're going off course. Okay, steady. That's it. Ow! That was my fault. Eyes open, dumbass. 
This looks like a pain in the ass river to me. Most definitely a pain in the ass river. Okay. How are we going to deal with this? Bridge. Okay, I can work with bridge. Although, that looks like it gets quite thin. Yeah, but you're not going to show me what I want. Hmm. Although... We do this... That's it. Bridge level two. Right, so we are here. Where are the BTs? Oh, yes, please. Right, so let's... Oh, I see. Connection as we guessed. Um, can't see any orange, so I don't think there's mules in the area. Promising. Let's just keep going for it. Yep, come on. Some stuff been dropped by someone. So we now head up around here. I'm guessing that shelter icon. So, gonna be good coming back. Nice gentle decline. So, it gives me opportunity to smack my head about again. Thank you. Ta da! Big numbers go up. Delivering cargo. You're from Bridges, right? You don't have anything else for me, do you? 
No. Okay. Never mind. Looks good to me. That's a relief. Hey, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could find my father's camera for me? It's kind of a long story, but he used to conduct field research in the area. My father believed that the key to understanding the Death Stranding was hidden here, somewhere in the caves and strata. But he passed away before he could complete his work, leaving me to finish what he started. And not long ago, I found something, something amazing. I was sure it was what my father had been looking for, even if I couldn't see how it related to the Death Stranding myself. What I needed was an expert opinion. Someone who could look at what I'd found and tell me what it meant. So, I grabbed my father's camera and set out to document my discovery. Took pictures of every last detail. But on the way back, I spotted a group of armed men and I panicked. Dropped everything and ran like hell. Thankfully, they never saw me. But when I stopped running, I realized the camera was gone. Case and all. I've been trying to pluck up the courage to go and look for it ever since. But then, I remembered that the cargo tag was still on the case. And I figured, you being with bridges and all, that you might have a way to pinpoint its location. Please, I'd give anything to have it back. I'm gonna put in the order. Please understand, that camera means everything to me. Until I know it's safe, I can't think about anything else. There's a terminal there you can use if you want to get started right away. Here. It's what I'd take if I were going myself. Knock yourself out. How is knocking myself out going to help things? Strange. Yeah, I have a funny feeling that's mule territory. Okay, so we only have access to our private locker. We do have that. So you, you and you go into the private locker. Um, BT handgun. You and you can go into the locker as well. Carry by hand, put in the private locker. Da da da, to some grenades, weapons. Okay. Oh, I forgot the important bit, didn't I? Ooh, yeah, okay. Non-lethal, that'll help. Right, shotgun won't. Smoke grenade. Uh, carry on back. Uh, attach to shoot. Attach to suit. Um... Non lethal tool rack. Right, I think I'm ready. No, I'm not. Order assigned. No, I'm not. We're going to want that. Uh, equip skeleton. Did it put the skeleton on my back? No. Fantastic. So we need speedy legs. Right, so...
See, that's the thing that I don't understand with the waypoints. They don't really show them that well. Okay, from Sam to there. Up that way. Okay, that I can deal with. Weapons restrictions lifted. Oh, I should have rested. Stamina's low because I've been banging my head on rocks and stuff. Let's head round this way. Grab those. Do do do. Oh, someone liked something I put down. Let's get round here. Yep, we're heading toward the bridge as I smack into a rock. Right. So we have legs on standby, ready. But when I want to um, get my butt out of here. Course. Boards. The rivers. But we have a bowler gun at the hand, so that's good. Oh, no. Come back! Uh, we want to go in that direction. Yeah, we're definitely heading toward Mule Territory. Uh, actually, that's not a bad idea. There's our target. Entering power grid. Um. Camera. Sam, did you find our missing cargo? Huh. Looks like someone's carrying it around. Uh, anti BT, non lethal assault. Heads up, Sam. Looks like you've tripped an intrusion sensor. To be clear, these sensors react to you, not to your cargo. Be careful. Trouble may be on the way. I hope they don't drown. Because if they drown. Behind me? Oh. the wind <clears throat> go super legs come on super legs do your magic I got it, yeah? 
Yeah, I got it. Yeah, let's rest a moment. Get his stamina back. Well, okay, maybe not. We can't sleep there. Ooh, we're bloody. Okay, so... Let's recharge the leggies. Just enjoying the music. There you are. Approaching destination. Make her happy. Delivering cargo. Oh, wow. Thank you. I was afraid I'd never see it again. like it always did. Oh, you don't know what this means to me. my father's idea to move all the way out here. He thought he could get to the bottom of the Death Stranding all by himself. And we were right behind him. But look where it got us. If you hadn't come along when you did, the camera would be gone, and all our hard work would have been lost before anyone had a chance to see it. We can't let that happen. The world needs to hear about this. Someone out there will know what it means. So, Connect us up. We want to be a part of the UCA. He really needs to get that wind looked at, see a doctor or something. Ah, we're getting closer. Shotgun. Riot shotgun. Some interviews. I truly hope our work will help to make a difference. Thanks again. I hope we get to meet again before too long. Sam, it's Hartman. 
That camera you recovered contained some fascinating footage. The data stored on it was automatically shared with us after you added the photographer's shelter to the network, along with her father's research materials. Anyway, my lab still doesn't have a high-speed chiral connection, but I was able to check one of the images against a database at HQ. Based on my preliminary calculations and the photographic and documentary evidence in our archives, I would estimate the paintings to be in the region of 30,000 years old, if not older. The artists were likely Neanderthals or other precursors who were migrating across the continent. See the dolphin-like creatures there? At the time, the cave would have been situated even farther from the coast than it is now. So how could the artists possibly have encountered dolphins? Answer, they couldn't. It is my belief that they had a brush not with dolphins, but with beach things. And that would mean the Death Stranding is not the first phenomenon of its kind, that it has happened before. Since the birth of our planet, countless species have gone extinct, from bacteria to dinosaurs. Scientists refer to the largest known mass extinctions as the Big Five. But there have, of course, been many other extinction events, albeit on a smaller scale. What if the artists were trying to document one such event, that of their own extinction? It would be the first record in Earth's history of a death stranding. And it would also lend credence to my theories. The sooner you come and connect me to the network, the sooner we'll know. Just imagine the mysteries we'll be able to solve. I'll be waiting, Sam. Wonderful news, Sam. BB-28's vitals are nearly within optimal operating parameters. Just before I called, it opened its eyes. It was looking all over, as if searching for someone. And then, our eyes met. For a moment, I think. I tell you, it was almost enough to make me want to keep the kid for myself. Anyway, I still need to run diagnostics and make adjustments as needed. However, the fluctuating local chiral levels could pose a problem. Think you can bring one more site into the network? Once you have, and once I have subsequently confirmed that DB is functioning reliably, I'll release it into your custody. This is the last step, I promise. Just one more site, that's all we should need. Good luck. Just one more, huh? New order available. Please access the Sam, I see you received a mail from our mountaineer friend. Seems he's got an order for you. Might be good to give it a look. Okay. Mail. Order. Me and wife are good, but need a little something. My wife are doing great, but it's all thanks to you. Couldn't have demonstrated more clearly the type of support the UCA has to offer. I don't know much about Chiral Network, but I know we're a part of it now, and things are better that way. Oh, I have a friendly friend nearby I'd like you to deliver something to. Could you drop by when you have some time? So that's going to be another link in the chain. Uh, interviews... Wow, this is a long one. Prepper interview the photographer. This is with the photographer's mother. Wasn't that long ago that we moved to this shelter, the three of us. Before that, we used to live in the city until my husband up and said we had to leave. He was so insistent and I didn't have any choice but to go along with it. I couldn't take care of our daughter by myself. He said he was sick of the city life. And I can't say I don't understand that at all. I mean, Timefall may not have been an issue, or BTs, but I can see how the safe and comfort life might become suffocating. Our daughter might be happy and healthy, but we're the exception. Hardly anyone's having any having children these days. You don't need a crystal ball to see where the world's headed. My husband says we're bound for extinction. <laughs> um, extinction. Says nobody's doing anything about it. People rather stick in their heads in the sand than try and wait out the storm. We don't figure out 
the Death Stranding and fix this world of ours. That's all that she wrote. My husband says that a lot. That may be just a guy with a camera, but at least he's doing something and so on. He's out there again somewhere investigating something. Recently he started talking to our daughter, taking our daughter with him, teaching her to take photos and rocks and morals of the like. I'm glad they're spending time together and I know it's good for her education, but I still hate it when they go out and leave me here to wait and pray that they come back home safe and sound. What's the other one? Cave paintings and stencils. A year ago, cave paintings provide an invaluable window into the lives of our ancestors, how they lived, what they experienced. Some have been preserved here on our continent, although most have sadly been lost in void outs. The oldest cave paintings are all believed to date back uh, 64,800 years or more, but all of these are or were perhaps were in Europe. What became of them, I wonder? Have they too been obliterated in an annihilation vent? If not, are the caves containing them now infested with BTs? Does Europe still exist, even? One cannot help but worry a bit that these vital records have been forever lost to us. But I digress. These first paintings were likely made by Neanderthals. They were crude depictions of animals such as deer, bison and horses interpersed with stencil outlines of large hands. Some assert, assert that these are the signatures of the primitive painters, but they could be depictions of BT handprints. Yeah, I was just thinking that myself as I was reading it. Could our ancient relatives have been trying to tell us something or issue a warning or perhaps like one I fancy too far. Yeah, the handprint in cave paintings is an interesting thing. I think he did that deliberately. 